I was a good-looking kid, and the fans of Philadelphia uh, didn't like my looks, but they respected my wrestling ability. And Taz basically told the booker, who was Paul Heyman, that I was really tough. And at the time, there was a big hoopla about an American who did, who committed a crime in Singapore, and he was legit going to get caned. And America was in a big uproar that one of our citizens was going to get caned for committing a crime, and it made national news. His name was Michael Fay, so we converted it to a wrestling angle. And uh, he's a pussy because he took only uh, three shots, and I took 11. And uh, I lost the match, and I got hit. And, you know, kind of like Rocky in the never quit, never, I don't give up type of mentality, and I just kept on getting up. And I remember girls were crying, and guy, even guys who, like, at the time, they didn't like me, they were like, dude, just stay down. And um, I just kept getting up, and then from there, kind of like my career was, you know, it was all part of the, I don't want to say the folklore, but it was this kind of the stepping stones that made me the man who I am today. So that happened in ECW. You're probably one of the most known wrestlers from ECW. How did you uh, get involved with ECW? Got involved with ECW. Uh, gave Paul Heyman my pictures and tape. Uh, one day when I met him, he lived fairly close to me. He told me he was to start this show uh, called ECW. He was taking over the book and. I went there and uh, showed up from the, on his first day and uh, had a job ever since. And what was Paul Heyman like? He's the craziest man I've ever met in the business. Paul's Mahoney's number two, Little Guido's number three. Um, he's, he's, he's a crazy man. He's, he's good at what he does, he's also crazy. But a lot of crazy people are. And you also had some contact with uh, Terry Funk at ECW, you got to know yep. him a bit. Um, can you just tell us a bit about what you think of Terry Funk? Terry Funk uh, gave me a lot of guidance uh, early on. He's uh, him and Mick Foley uh, are guys who are very, very giving and caring back to the business, uh, which how this business should be. Um, you didn't get that with a lot of the old timers, but here's a guy who did. And I mean, hell, he was the one who called. Vince McMahon and told him about bringing Hulk Hogan to WWF and Terry Funk is at 50 years old he was doing moonsaults to the crowd to step up his game and change his game because he believed in ECW. He's a man who had, he never rested on his laurels and if he could get in there and fight and fight he is probably one of the toughest men I don't care how old he is but he's just uh, he's a beyond helped me out in my career big time. And we are, we are well aware that he's tough. Do you have any particular story about him that really showed how tough he was? I saw Terry Funk do a moonsault to the floor and hit the concrete with his head and looked at me and said, that was a stupid thing to do, and just kept on wrestling. Um, Terry is beyond tough. I mean, there's, I don't know how you could hurt him. You know, I've never had a match with him. I've tagged with him and, and even, you know, knocking on 60 he's doing a moonsault off a ladder and falling into barbed wire i mean i've had a great career i hope i can continue to go just as long as you know terry has because he's still going uh as a lot of people know or a lot of people watch this documentary i'm sure they're going to see a, a lot more footage of terry funk and he is he is tough 